Hi Glammies and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is Mac must-haves and it is like a highly requested video. Um, someone also um, commented on my video, my last video, which was, what was that? Uh, my highlighting video and uh, she said she's new to Mac and she was wondering some products I would recommend for someone that's new um, to Mac products so um, I figured after that one I should get on and make a video <laughs> so this is uh, some of my Mac must-haves um, everyone might not feel the same way but this is just personally what I like um, when I go into Mac store, these are things that I constantly buy, replenish. Um, and for me, there are things that I just have not found a dupe for them. So um, I only kind of go to Mac for these products. So let's get started. All right, so we'll start with what? Eyes first? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so um, my favorite liner that I just cannot find anywhere else um, or find a dupe for it is the Black Track fluid line and it just makes the perfect line oh my goodness it doesn't smudge you guys know I have really sensitive eyes so my eyes tend to um, water up every time I do my eyeliner mascara what I put lashes on whatever it is my eyes are tearing up so I have to find a really good liner that's waterproof does that does not smudge and kind of stays put so I've been through oh my goodness so many uh, different gel liners and I just haven't been able to find anything else better than fluid line. So for me, this is definitely a must. And this retails for, I believe, $17.50. What I'll do is I'll make sure I'll put in the uh, down description box, I'll put the prices of everything that I discuss. Okay. So the next for um, liners is, or for eyes, is this liner Smolder. And I love Smolder, uh, not so much for waterproof, but for that really, really nice black look. Um, if I don't want to use my fluid line, I normally put this um, on the, the top of my eye. I don't do my waterline because it will smudge. But it's a really nice dark liner when you're trying to wing out your um, upper lash line. So. This is a definitely favorite for me, and I've been through, like I said, a lot of different eye, sh um, not eye shadows, a lot of different eye um, pencils, and this seems to be the best one when I'm trying to wing out and I don't want to use a gel liner and I want to use a pencil. This is like my must-have. So this again is the um, Mac uh, Eye Coal in Smolder. All right, next, uh, keeping on eyes, let's go to eyeshadows. I really, really must say. I love all MAC eyeshadows. I know there's dupes out there. Um, I actually have a couple. I think I've told you guys a couple of dupes that I found. Um, I believe it was on my last drugstore favorites video. But I still like, I still invest in, I still believe in MAC eyeshadows. I just do. Um, so I'll just, I brought up a couple just for reference. Um, it doesn't really matter what colors you guys decide to pick um, for, I believe they're, what is it, 1450 but if you get it in the pan and get a palette, it's $11 a piece. So it's a really good deal. Um, you just have to invest in the palette here and just kind of build your collection um, one shadow pan at a time. So it's a really good color payoff and I just, I love MAC shadows. I just love them all. I can't even like tell you one of my favorites because I love all of them. All right. So, uh, keeping with eyes, um, this brush, I cannot find a dupe for this brush. And believe me, I've tried. I have tried. And if you guys know a uh, dupe for this brush, please let me know. Because I will be, like, jumping in my car right now to go buy it. Um, but this is the 217. I love this brush. Not only does it clean well, like, I just did this look with, um this brush and of course the brush is white and I've got a lot of colors going on with my eyes and it cleans so 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 well it's the perfect like when you're trying to get that bridge color or smoke out of eye it's the perfect 
um, brush for smoky eyes. Like I love, love this brush. The other one I love, let me grab it really quick, is um, the 239. This was part of my favorite. So, you know, I had to go ahead and put this in there. Um, but I think like if you're just starting off with MAC and, MAC and brushes, these two can get you guys a long way um, if you just want to get something uh, from MAC, experience their brushes. They are awesome, um, but not buy the whole collection. These two are great um, starter pieces for your eye brush collection. So that again is a 239 and then the 217, my favorite MAC eye brushes of all time. And I think that's it for eyes. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for eyes. Okay, so um, let's go to face products. So let's start with concealer. I absolutely love the Pro Long Wear Concealer. Um, I'm in shade NW35, so you know I like that highlight underneath my eyes. That's the way it looks. And it does stay on uh, for a long time. Like when it says Pro Long Wear, it means Pro Long Wear because it really, really does stay on for a long time. And uh, I love the consistency because I actually have a different color. Let me grab that too. I have two different ones I like to mix sometimes a custom build, um, you know, a particular shade that I want for underneath my eyes. And this is um, NW40. So this is a little bit closer to my skin tone. And this is way lighter. Um, so I like put them on my mixing plate and mix them together and they mix perfectly. I mean, you can really create a lot of different looks. I do carry these inside my kit in all different colors because of course I just don't work on one shade tone skin. So a lot of my clients are different colors and this is so easy to just get put inside your kit and mix it and uh, custom mix creations to fit your clients needs and skin tone. So I really like these concealers and this again is a pro long wear concealer. Okay, a uh, foundation. Um, I don't have a lot of MAC foundations, um, but these two are my favorite and I'll get to them in a second. Um, I know a lot of people talk about that MAC breaks them out. I've never experienced any kind of breakouts. Um, I, it's just, it's never been a problem with me. I've never had any breakouts with their powder. I know a friend of mine can't even wear their powder or their foundation, but it works for me. Um, the Studio Fix Fluid, I love it because it has an SPF 15 in there. And this is how it looks. Now it doesn't come with this little um, pump. You do have to buy that separately. But um, it's the Studio Fix Fluid, which is a nice, I would say almost full coverage foundation. Uh, for me, I, I think it's full coverage foundation. Um, others might like a more of a, you know, a cover, really coverage look. Um, but for my skin um, type, it's perfect for it. And it really helps to cover up all my blemishes and dark spots and acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, all that good stuff. So this is in uh, NW43. All right, and then you guys know I had to include this because I have its own video. It has its own video, like seriously? Yes, it's the MAC Face and Body. This, oh my goodness, I cannot tell you guys. This is the perfect summer foundation. Um, I use this all the time for those days when I just want to look alive, to look even, to look naturally, um, a no makeup makeup look. This is what I run to. It is perfect. Um, I I can't say anything bad about it. Um, if you're just starting off with MAC and you're not used to a lot of foundation and maybe the Studio Fix will provide too much coverage for you, then this MAC face and body is perfect. It's a nice stepping off point to a more full coverage foundation. So if you're just starting out, I would definitely recommend you guys pick this up and go, get, go to your counter and get... Um, your right shade and even you know see if they can do a little makeover using this so you guys can see how it feels on your skin and the coverage and all that good stuff all right for powders um i love the studio fix this is actually a foundation but i like to use it as a powder to set my foundation because i like sometimes that really 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 pretty nice even flawless skin type so our skin look so when I'm doing that, when I'm going out, I will set my foundation, my liquid foundation and concealer with this powder. And this is an NC45. And next, oh, you know, I had to like, it's the best thing ever. Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in dark. Um, for me, I thought this was my color, but I've been actually contouring with this and it's been doing really good. So I might get the one up from this, which is, or down from this, which is uh, medium dark. But um, yeah, the dark is awesome for a contour, but just the coverage by itself is so pretty. It gives you like a nice 
light not frosty um bronzy look to the skin it just looks so so pretty and primed and just oh i love these powders so you guys don't want to do the steel fix definitely go for the milan skin finish because it's a really really good product okay um and let's do some highlighters let me grab something really quick guys hold on one second okay so this um is another middle eye skin finish and this is in gold deposit i love this because it is the perfect bronzer for dark skin um i'm going to do two things i'm going to bronze on camera and i'm also going to highlight and with one of my favorite mac highlighters that just came out so let's just do this really quick on camera so you guys can just see what i'm talking about i already had my blush on but i just want a little something just up here a little golden glow you see that it is gorgeous it is like the perfect golden glowy bronzer for dark skin and sometimes it's hard when you are nw43 and higher it's hard to find a bronzer that's really going to give you that bronze gold look but uh gold deposit is perfect um it looks beautiful also on fair skin but um if you are darker skin we seem to have a harder time finding a really good um bronzer and this in gold deposit is just like the holy grail of um bronzers for darker skin love it okay now I wanted this on camera this is for my girl blues fan Lenny and she told me um yesterday or the day before yesterday that she wanted to see how the crew which is the highlighting from the hey sailor collection I really like this guy so I wanted to just do an on-camera demonstration really quick I didn't put any highlighter on so we're going to use that and we're going to use it with my 184 fan brush and this is all for you blues fan Lenny so you just pick up a little product like this and I just lightly put it underneath the skin or underneath my eye excuse me just like that and it just gives you this really pretty bright look underneath your eyes and I didn't think it was gonna show up on me but it really looks beautiful and you see how you can use all these products together I mean I have on blush and I'll show you what blush I have on in a second I have on the gold deposits you know I now I put on the um, highlighter and crew so the nice thing about Mac is that you really can just use all these products together to like create the look that you're looking to create okay so that was for blues fan Lenny so I hope you can see how beautiful that looks I love this crew and girl if you haven't gone out and get got it already go get it okay um my last two things are blush and actually no actually I have three more um the blush I have on is gentle and I used it in my last video too I've just been loving this color oh my goodness it is so 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 pretty it just has that purpley pink um frosted as you can see it's mineralized uh blush so it has that nice like little shiny iridescent look to it I love that and that's what I have on my cheeks now so and I think you know this color is natural color of course they have a lot of different other colors but the mineralized blush is really really good and it stays on long and it's not too harsh if you're not used to wearing a lot of makeup and it stays and you get a lot of product for your money also all right the next blush is blunt which as we know I, everybody uses this for a contour and I've used it for a contour on the fairest of skin to the deepest dark and this is awesome um I love how it just transforms to your skin and it just really gives you that nice um not highlight but nice contour effect and it's a blush it's $16 um it works really really good I also used this as a bronzer for someone one day and it looked absolutely gorgeous on her um, and I've used it as a blush so it's kind of like a three for one a bronzer blush contour why not so very very good investment um, the next two are face brushes and I can't find the other one over okay, there okay so it is the 116 which is the um, blush brush and then my favorite I have not found anything to compare to this brush um this is the 109 this is the contour brush and I use this in my last video and it just contours perfectly I mean look how it just I I love it I tried angle brushes kabuki brushes all kind of brushes but I have not found anything better than this 109 so 
These two are definitely two great face brushes. Um, and I think they're both less than 30 bucks each, so which is a really good deal. And they wash well and um, they apply your product perfectly. So I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. Of course, leave comments, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know if you've already used these things or let me know what you plan to buy on your next Mac trip. So hope you guys enjoy this and stay glam. Bye.